Topping the news tonight, members of the Belfry community packed into the Carbon County Courthouse today to watch as a man convicted of killing three Belfry residents was sentenced. The three victims were shot a combined 17 times in their Belfry home last April. A motive has never been revealed. Today, prosecutors told the court that no reason would ever bring peace to the family of the victims. At the end of the hearing, Judge Blair Jones sentencing Robert Jim LeCou to 300 years at the Montana State Prison. That's 100 years for each of his three victims. If you recall, this past June, LeCou was convicted on three counts of deliberate homicide. Prosecutors said Karen LeCou, her sister Sharon Lamb, and brother-in-law Lloyd Lamb never saw the violence coming. The day after the murders, LeCou was arrested in Spokane. He claims he left Belfry before the murders. But after a week-long trial this summer, the jury found LeCou guilty. Q2 Sammy Harrelson was in the courtroom today and joins us now with more on the hearing. Sammy. Jay, it was an emotional afternoon in court as family members spoke about the loved ones lost in a crime Judge Blair Jones calls one of the worst he has ever seen. Family members of the victims, LeCou's wife Karen Hill LeCou, her sister Sharon Lamb, and brother Lloyd Lamb, spoke about who they were and the unbearable impact their losses had on their families. Brothers, sisters, and children of the victims asked LeCou, how could you harm such good and innocent people? In the end, Judge Jones says that factor was key in imposing the harshest sentence he was allowed, saying the three victims were totally defenseless, especially Lloyd Lamb, a disabled veteran who was shot in bed. For the court, that is just unbelievable conduct. Unbelievably violent, unbelievably vile, unbelievably horrifying. And I join you in wondering how it can happen. The defense said today LeCou maintains his innocence despite the conviction. LeCou did not speak today. Jay. All right, thank you, Samantha. LeCou, by the way, was also implicated in the beating death of a homeless man in Texas and a shootout with police in Tennessee some two decades ago. That information, though, was not admissible at trial.